question everything. This my advice, man. Question it. Get the answers to it. This my question. First thing that they tell, tell, tell I mean, so I just make you got to I know a lot of people that <laughs> yo I gotta do this first. I know there's a lot of people right that think that I'm a uh, I'm a Republican and um uh... <laughs> and uh, uh... Like, and I voted Trump. I'm on mega, mega millions. <sighs> Let me tell y'all something, man. Let me tell y'all while I'm laughing because I do a lot of shit just to see like the the mind span of people, man. Like if I'm if, if you bring up a topic to me and I already see your stance in it, something in me sometimes just make me go the opposite way of you. Just to see how strong you're going to stand on that and see if you got proof enough to stand on what you're standing on. A lot of people vote for people because they part of the herd. You know what I'm saying? They vote for people because my aunt and them used to vote for these people, and my cousin and all of them, I heard them talking about it, so I'm voting for this person, too. The thing is, man, you are a danger to voting because you don't even know what you want in life. When you vote for a candidate, uh, anything local government federal anything if you vote for anybody vote for something that they say that you like vote for a policy or a change that you like that's going to benefit you or somebody close to you at least get something out of the vote don't just don't just blindly vote you know what I'm saying? I'm finna take y'all to another little spot of an angle that some people didn't see about what just happened, man, at this Trump rally. I'm finna show you something. I'm finna show you something that I don't think nobody showed you about this whole thing. Watch this, man. Oh, what's up? Hold on, hold on. What's up, Samuel? Gotta say peace to the God. Right. That's a fact. That's a whole fact right there, man. And I'll be meaning that sincerely to people, man. Yo, listen. At least get something out of it. Or for somebody that's close to you, man, vote to help them. If they got a health pol a health policy that's gonna help somebody get a uh, a wheelchair ramp on a budget, that's who you need to vote for. If they finna help somebody close to you that need that, you know what I'm saying? Vote for stuff that's gonna help you. Somebody, something, you know. Don't just sit up there voting for dumb stuff, man. For nothing. If you're going to make it count, if you're going to waste your time going down there to vote, 
I hope you got something in mind that somebody said that you like. Put it like that. If you're going to do all that running around just to get a sticker, that don't make no sense. I see a lot of stickers every season when it's time to vote and talking about they did their job and I, I, I voted and I'm a patriot and all kinds of shit with that sticker all on their forehead. I was like, yo, man, check this out. You voted, but what did you vote for? That's the question. What did you vote for? What are you going to get out of that deal that that person said that they're going to deliver at least what they said they're going to deliver? Tell me something that they said, and I, I'm with you. I just like to mess with people and hurt their feelings at the same time, especially people that really, really, really hate Trump. I like to get on their nerves. You know what I'm saying? Right. I like to get on people's nerves. I like to see how mad they're going to get. And if they're going to start crying for their uh, political choice. <laughs> yeah, people start literally crying and hating you, telling you don't come to the cookout, all kind of stuff, man. They be, they be angry. Check this out, right? Okay, so now I'm going to give you a perspective of some shit, right? Check this out. Check this out. This is something I don't think nobody showed people about this whole situation that happened, man. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. This was amazing. And, you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Oh, man, I don't know why he's doing this today. <laughs> Yo. Okay, right. Now. All right. Keep this in mind. Right here, keep this picture in mind, right? And this is what I'm going to tell you about what just happened. <sighs> Y'all ready? Got got to get my mojo back for this. All right, check this out, right? What y'all just witnessed was a warning of the changing of the guards. Yeah. It was a warning of the changing of the guard. This is what this means right now. What you just witnessed, what's right on your screen is what you just witnessed was When there's a changing of the guards, there's a lot of positions and a lot of, lot of things that disappear and a lot of rules that change. Let's just say Trump win the presidency. You know how many government jobs is just gonna be cut? There's gonna be people that ain't gonna have no jobs. Do you know how many rules and regulations that he got to peel back because each president do it when they go back into the office they go in there and they start peeling back all kind of shit that the other just one the other one did and stuff just start going you get a whole changing of an atmosphere at one time one of them signed almost a hundred 
joints the first day they got in the office. A hundred new regulations and laws as soon as they got in office. That's how quick shit changed. And it's like, when you get a changing of the guard, you get a whole changing of the world. And for what you see on your screen right now, there's people that pissed off that they will try to move that man so nothing don't change right now. Because this is way more serious than somebody just sitting in a chair and being a president and trying to be the puppet. When there's a changing of the guard, there's a whole changing of the world. And there's people that's not trying to let that happen. People will kill somebody so things can stay the same if they are enjoying what stay, what what's happening right now. You know what I'm saying? Right, good. See, I learned something new. Telling you, when there's a changing of the guard, there's a lot of things. You know how, I'm going to give you a quick, a short uh, example. Let's just say I'm a nephew of somebody in the government, and they wrote out a bill, and then what they did was in that bill they gave their nephew a job and in that job it's a contract through the government so they can sustain that job as long as the person in charge of that that's influencing them for you got that power to make them keep that in the in the in the bill anytime it changed again so they can write you up a teenage pregnancy clinic and under your name, under a foundation, and the government will be paying you, but you're somebody's nephew or niece in the office, one of the lobbyists, and a new president come in and they start cutting all them budgets. You know how many families start getting poor and hungry? Because a lot of jobs are built in Washington like that. There's people that's under contracts that ain't doing nothing. They just got a straw company. But they getting paid through the government for nothing. All they do is influence people to vote for the same people that's still in office. As long as they do that, then they can keep their money flowing through their little sponsored little office. Sometimes get commercials, sometimes turn into a real big business because they're doing the job. There's a lot of tricks to this thing. And a lot of that stuff, when the changing of the guard happened, a lot of them people is not trying to lose them positions in them offices and they getting thousands and millions of dollars for nothing just to make other people vote for this same people that's in here in this party. So they feel like, some of them people feel like it's worth moving the enemy. Some of them people feel like it's worth moving the enemy. That's a fact. Information is definitely money and power. It's like, we got to see how things are done. We got to know how things is done. That's what make it clear to us. You know what I'm saying? That's why in the other video I said, if there was a time when we needed to stick together, this is a time that we all need to stick together because there's, there's, it's going to happen. They didn't execute the plan. So... It's going to be a change in the guard. And we got to be together. 
if we going to say something, we going to say we going to vote it as a community. Like, no, we say, nah, we need him to bring us some clean water. That's all we want. Is he going to do that? Write that down for us. We want a contract. We want we want our stuff. We ain't playing. Don't let your vote be for nothing. You know? I'm telling you. But that's what this is all about. The execution things and all of that. That's what this is all about. The changing of the guards. And some people just... It, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. And whew, they say they say Biden got COVID. Are you kidding me? They say Biden got COVID. So that's how they remove two people at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Get both of them out the way and you ain't got to worry about nothing. You know? Crazy. 